despite how little it's felt like it, spring is actually here on the homestead. One of the easiest ways to tell is your Muscovy ducks. Muscovies are seasonal layers. Most of the time, Don, our male drake, is just lying around looking half dead. But springtime, he's got a little hitch in his giddy up. Wherever you see Betty, Don Draker isn't far behind. Bearing out into the sea, waves come crashing. Increased egg production. We're getting tons of eggs right now. And we're not anywhere near going through enough of them inside. We're preparing now to be moving very soon. Hey, chick chickies. Very shortly, we're gonna be loading up some livestock and some of our stuff and headed off for our first move down to Pennsylvania. That means not only do we have to make sure we are ready, but we need to make sure all the animals are ready for us to be away. And that takes a lot of forethought, preparation, and really training to make sure everything goes smoothly. You'll notice all our feeders are hanging quite high off the ground. This keeps the meat chickens from pooping in the feed, spoiling feed. Feed is one of the biggest expenses on the homestead. Anything you can do to keep it from spoiling will save you money. Animals and freight trains are very alike. Big ones can kill you really easily. Hi. Okay, that actually wasn't the point I was gonna make about animals and freight trains. Animals and freight trains are alike in that a change takes a long time to happen. You want to stop a freight train? Well, you got to plan miles in advance. And the same goes for your animals. They're dependent on the routine of daily life on the homestead. And if you want to change something, well, it takes a long time to get them used to that. These goats have been bottle fed, all of them, since we got them. But we realized with us going away, and them traveling, it would be best if the older ones were weaned. But you can't just wean an animal overnight. They're used to that daily mm -hmm. food. And so you have to start preparing them slowly, reducing the amount that they get. Mm -hmm. And when you start weaning animals, that affects how you're using up your milk supply. Like that freight train, you gotta be planning miles ahead for the change. And right now we're very busy trying to get our animals used to the idea that we're going away. You guys ready? There's a lot of change coming. So right now, to make sure we're all ready to go away from this homestead, we're weaning goats, all but the little guy, he's too small. We're also working with the cows to make sure they're ready for the change. change you'll notice on our cows they got some jewelry Hello. 
to move them legally, we needed to have them inspected by a vet, shown to be healthy, and then we need to be able to prove that these are the cows that were inspected. So Luna's got a little ear piercing now, a tag, so we can identify her and prove that she's a healthy cow. The vet looked at her, gave her a thumbs up. But more than just legal things, we needed to also prepare the animals for the change in the milking process. You see, while we're away for our first move, this girl here is in charge of milking. We have fantastic farm sitters. They're good with livestock. They know how to handle the property. But Ladybug isn't used to them milking her and she is used to Luna milking. And so the best plan for us on our homestead is to scale Ladybug's production back so that she isn't producing as much milk as when we're here and let Luna milk her while we're gone. But two things have to happen for that to work. First, Ladybug's production has to slow and Luna has to get used to drinking more milk. You can't do that overnight. So for the last few weeks, Kay has been slowing down the needs of milk so she could slow the production on Ladybug, and at the same time letting Luna in with Ladybug more and more so that she could have more and more milk, get her belly used to having more milk, and also let her understand the rhythm of when she should be eating and when she shouldn't so she doesn't give herself scours. These things take time, and you need to be able to monitor them. If we were to just throw Luna in with Ladybug and leave overnight, you could have some serious problems. This is all stuff you need to think about when you're homesteading and preparing on going away as we are with this move. Moving is hard. Packing is hard. Moving a homestead, I guess that's probably a little bit harder. But we've been planning for this for a long time. We've had a lot of help. And we're going into this very first move really positive. It's gonna be happening soon. So make sure to sign up to our email list so you don't miss any of our videos. Every Friday I send an email out to everybody on the list with all our videos, whether or not YouTube shares them with you, whether or not we get kicked off of YouTube forever because of showing farm life, whatever it is, you'll get all our videos. Stay tuned because we have a really exciting week coming up and you're very soon going to see the new farm.